and hello again. Uh, today we're having a look at the another Cherry Audio plugin called the Lowdown, which is a relatively new one. Um, got missed out of uh, last month's um, work that I did on uh, automating. I call it automating. It's more connecting the um, B pots on the keyboard to the parameters of the synthesizer. That's what this um, video is about. Um, but yeah, let's have a quick look at the the Lowdown, which is based on the Moog Taurus. Um, which was famous, famous space pedal synthesizer used quite a lot in the 70s and 80s. Um, I think U2 used to use one, um, the police, and a lot of the, uh, I was going to say glam rock, uh, no, not glam rock bands, a lot of the classic bands um, used to use them. Um, so we're looking at uh, changing these parameters by moving these knobs. That's really what this video is about. I'm not going to be playing you the sounds. Well, I might do, but that's not what this video is about. Um, now, I like the attention to detail that Cherry Audio have, as well as being able to change all these parameters. Um, you can also change the color of the carpet underneath the bass pedals. Um, and they've got some really nice carpets here, very evocative um, 70s and uh, 80s carpets there. Great examples, I think. Um, now, when I did a look um, for an actual Moog Taurus pedal, which is what this is based on. Um, I found one here um, that wasn't on carpet. So very versatile, on or off carpet, um, works the same way. Um, anyway, um, oh, this is my blog post, and this is where this video will live, and I'll always put a bit more information on there if you want a little bit more information. Um, but hopefully you'll get most of it from this video. So let's go into FL Studio. I've already got it um, fired up. And I'll just show you uh, what I want to meant then. What this video is about is changing these V pots. So if I go into um, plugin mode, shift and plugin, and if you look, I've got the Jupiter 4 highlighted there, and you'll see um, I'm changing the parameters there. You can see there's the um, cutoff there, uh, resonance, and attack release and these are based on um, Roland's Enology um, high level defaults because that seemed like a sensible place to start and the last one I think is relative level and uh, what this script does is you don't have to do any work to get this um, automatic scripting so we're looking here at the dream synth probably a bit harder to spot but you can probably see there and changing the cutoff there forgive the pink noise um, I do own most of these but not all of them I think that might be the Moog Taurus just saying hello. Um, but the gist of this is basically once you've got this script installed, this all works out of the box. Uh, these are a little easier to see because you can see uh, the sliders changing there. But they all work in the same way. Uh, doesn't really matter if I've missed, missed one, I've missed the mini Moog out, but never mind. The one we're here to look at is the Taurus. Um, and I might even play you a little bit. Let's see how I've left it. Oh, that was interesting. Let's start on a preset, should we? Yeah, I was trying to do, uh, I think I was going into the cure there. Um, yeah, forgive that. Anyway, this is how it works. I'm changing the filter cut off there which is one of the base sliding pedals which you normally do with your foot and uh, resonance next door and so on with these others now what I have noticed is a little bit of reluctance on some of these parameters to play ball there they are catching up there now now it might be partly as a result of um, the software I've got for capturing what I'm doing. Um, I'm not sure, but you can see them working there now. They're a little bit delayed, but um, hopefully when you play with them yourself without all the other software running, um, you'll be grand. Um, anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, thanks very much for your time. Feel if you've enjoyed the video, uh, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I'm looking at automating a whole gamut of third-party plugins. So if you are lucky enough to use FL Studio, um, definitely get yourself an FL key um, because out of the box you get 
this kind of functionality for all the native plugins and uh, a whole load more besides if you decide to um, utilize the script uh, that I've adapted, which is a, only a very small change, but brings all these other synthesizers. And I think there's probably um, 50 or 60 now, um, maybe a few more than that, which are included. Um, a lot of them free, well worth a look at. Um, anyway, thanks very much for your time. I'll call it a day there. I'll stop the recording. Thanks very much.